god. Absolutely disgusting. Everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. Uh, and I'm her significant other, Sean. Today we're gonna be trying like Greek and Turkish candy. Are you excited? Very. Glad to hear it. All right, which one, which one do you want to start with? We start with the Red Rocket. It's called okay. the Jollies. It is a uh, a Russian raspberry candy. There's also cherry. Okay. Pear. An apple. Sean, we're supposed to do it at the same time. Can you click? I haven't followed yet. I'm eating pear. Pear. Ah! It's like chocolate with like a... Like a melted gummy bear inside. 3 out of 10, not a fan. I don't like that at all. I shouldn't have gotten so many. Do you want the rest uh, of Yeah, no, it's gross. Not good, not good. Alright, so let's rate each candy. Drop, Mike. <laughs> Shen, raspberry candy. Three out of ten. Would not eat again. I'm All also right. going to rate it a three out of ten because it's really gross. I don't like it. I'm sitting over here. Um, the next one is a... I didn't know how to... ABK candy with a name Wurkaharue <laughs> which I don't know how to say and it is appears to be a chocolate candy Yes We can clink with our matching tattoos Are you ready, Sean? Clank? Hmm It has like a nut inside Hmm I'll give it a 5 out of 10. I give it a 4. It had a crunchy nut inside. I'm not too fond of crunchy chocolate. Yeah. So 4 out of 10. Would not try again. Now we're going to try some of these um, bad mamma jammas. Yeah, yeah. Um, they have some, some what appear to be some baby grizzly bears on the front of it. Yep. Uh, another name of... Um, not gonna be able to pronounce, but it looks like Yabashabi or a Habraga. Another chocolate. Right, another chocolate. Here you go. You guys can see it. Looks pretty sick, nasty. Pow. Ooh. Ready? Drops candy wrapper. Okay. Clank, clank. Ooh. Crunchy. It's a little sweet in the center. There's like a hard white center. None of these candies are really like super delicious. I had explain so far. That one was like a chocolate coated communion. Mm, three out of ten. Definitely not a fan. I'm going to give that a 5 out of 10 just because I would probably eat the whole thing, but it's dark chocolate on the outside, so that's just really turning me off, you know? Okay. These look cute. I wonder if they're going to taste like daisies. Okay, this is a Pamoka. Never had as daisies on the outside of it. Ooh. It says Pamoka Pawa. It's with another the chocolate looking thing. It's another chocolate. So, um... We're gonna done try it. Here's a nice view of it. You see that? See that? God? Yep. Ah! Mother. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this at all. 
Mm. Look how gross it is. I'm not gonna eat the rest of this. I'm giving that a one out of ten. Um, Pamawaka. Tastes like I had like a little bit of coffee inside, which I liked. Give it an eight out of ten. Probably would have got a ten out of ten, but damn near chipped my teeth when I was biting into it. I don't like anything like so that. So it's gonna be eight out of ten instead of ten out of ten. You wanna do these things? I feel like they're gonna be good. Which one? Which color? Okay, we're gonna do some egg colored stuff. Egg colored stuff. Um, <laughs> egg shaped stuff. It looks like this with a little fancy wrapper on the outside of it. I feel like it's gonna be chocolate. Ooh, it is chocolate. Uh, it's gonna be another chocolate one. I mean, okay. Mm. Seems like a tad bit too much chocolate. Uh, clanker, clanker. Um, as always, wrapper drop. I didn't see it. Is there something in the center? Um, there's something in the center. I haven't gotten to it yet. I can't even get out of the center. Was it gross? Oh, it's caramel. Mm. It's a little overpowering though. Don't you think? I'm not digging this either. A little shiny egg shaped chocolate. Um. 0.5 out of 10. 0.5? Uh, basically it was caramel. That tasted like, had like a brandy tasting to it. Yeah, it was really sweet. I don't With, really um, like that. With chocolate outside. Not a fan. Would mm. never try that again. Mm -mm. I'm going to give that a 2 out of 10. Um, uh, we'll split it in half. Um, this one just says pistachio on it. Yep. Should be guys can see that. Not focusing, we're not gonna try it anymore. <laughs> um, it's another chocolate, but it said pistachio, kind of misleading. Might want to talk to the owner of the company on that one. Oh my god! I don't like that. Pistachio candy, chocolate outside, pistachio cream on the inside. Best one so far. Nine out of ten. I don't like it. Eat it. Definitely would eat again. Don't stick that in my mouth. You can eat it. Mm -mm. Oh, this one appears to Hold be. Hold on, I have to cleanse my palate. Okay. This is the same thing. Hold on, let me explain these. So these are all the same, like. Version of candy, Ooh, different I want flavors. Three. Give that to me. I want me. the pink one. No way. We'll have this one. There's also these ones too. Okay, we're gonna try the pink one. It looks like it is a pink fudge almost consistency. Yeah. With pistachios on the outside. Mine. Kind of delicious. We'll give you guys a little sneak peek right here. Bam! You see it? You see it? I have like videos of it. Okay, it has plastic on it still. So we're gonna drop that on the floor. I felt like I chewed it for like 20 years. Oh my god. <laughs> is that like, actually, no, is that actually edible? Yeah. <laughs> Mine, you can never tell it tastes of pistachio. Like, it has a good flavor, but the consistency is what is throwing me off. I'm gonna rate this a 6 out of 10 because the flavor is nice, but oh god. it literally takes like 70 years, years to eat one piece. Phew. I'll start off just describing it. It was basically like a uh, pistachio bar and old dried bubble gum that was impossible to bite into. And once it was in your mouth, it was impossible to chew. On top of that, it tasted as if I bit into a bar of soap from Lush. Looks like it's marked. Oh, this is. I've had this before. Have you really? It's, no. It's a Corvaca <laughs> Rochen. I think it is a, a, it's a chocolate with, it appears to be marshmallow and caramel, which sounds delicious. 
Oh, I don't even know what this is. This thing is, I fucking lucked out. This thing is amazing. Look at this. I think it's like a maple on the outside of it. This thing is going to be delicious. Try it. Eat it. Let's go. Oh, eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Tastes like coconuts. Mm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I would just. It tastes kind of like those maple candies that you get in like Vermont. Ah, uh, not even. I would say it has the same consistency. It is yeah, same consistency of like the maple sh made of maple sugar maple candies. Maple sugar. <laughs> maple sugar candies. Maple you get sugar in, um, candies. Vermont or any knockoff store in New Hampshire or any shit like that. Yeah, yeah. But um, I think it tastes very similar to a cow tail. Not chewy or anything. Kind of melts in your mouth. It tastes like the I know. It tastes like a cow tail or yeah. scent of a cow tail. Yep. I agree. 6.5 out of 10. Good flavor. I like it. Good consistency. It was a little too sweet. I'm going to give that a 5 out of 10. I agree it's too sweet. And I don't think I could eat a whole thing of that. Like one bite I think is enough. How much candy do you have? A lot. Here, we can eat these ones. These are Yaya's favorite. Okay. So these are like sesame seed nut things. I call it bird food. Bird food? Um, it's basically like honey on little sesame seeds. See that? Yeah. Rotate. They're banging. Um, they're hard candy typically. Yeah. Mmm. Very good. Delicious. Easy to make. Mmm. It's called Joyba Sesame Crunch. Basically, like a one step above bird food. That's, That's good. good. I like it. 10 out of 10, my favorite so far. I give it a 7 out of 10 because it was really tiny. These ones I'm excited to try because I've always wanted to try them after I watched Narnia. Yep. Turkish Delight? They're called Hazard Battle Turkish Delight Fisty Achille Locum with Pistachio. Kapow! Woo! Um, so I've seen them in Narnia, and I've always wanted to try them, and I have no idea what they are. So I hope they're going to taste good, because if not, then my childhood dreams will be ruined. Alright, Turkish Delits. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Mm, I hope these, these look good. I hope they're good. I have to eat it over the plate, Sean. <laughs> these are so messy. This is what we have now in a plate. <coughs> I'm not really sure what these even are. Oh. Do they live up to your Narnia dreams? <laughs> Tell the rest of mine. Do you like it? Not really. <laughs> no, it's actually alright. I don't. I'm not taking Seven it. out of ten. Basically, a confectioner sugar. With an um, unflavored uh, jelly. Uh, yeah, like an unflavored jelly with pistachios inside. Pistachio is what saves it. Will not recommend to people. Actually, I would recommend it to people that like unflavored jelly, pistachios, and sugar. Yeah. I myself though I'm not a fan. I'm going to give this a 2 out of 10 because it's freaking gross. This has been the Sean and Elizabeth Candy Tasting 2019 March 10th. We'll see you guys later. Love that. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe and like. Sean where are you going? We're not done. I'm done. Alright Sean doesn't want to sit back down so if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for weekly videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye.